Hi friends! So for phonics this week, we're learning about something called wild cult words. Wild cult words break the rules. Sometimes the vowels I and O break the rules and don't do what they're supposed to do. Usually they make the short sound when followed by a consonant, but in this case they make the long sound. A colt is also known as a baby horse. Colts can be pretty wild. They're young and they're still learning all the rules. So one way to remember wild colt words is to think of a young colt that's very wild and breaking the rules. Wild cult words are words that only have one vowel and break the rule by sounding like a long vowel. Wild cult words do not need a bossy E at the end of the word to say their long sound because they are followed by two consonants and are breaking the rule. The word wild and cult are wild cult words. On the word wild, the I has a macron because I is saying its name and it's long. There's two arrows on the L and D because there are two consonants following this vowel. This is the same with the word cult. It has a macron on the O and it is followed by two consonants. So these wild cult words are breaking the rule that a short vowel is followed by a consonant and is short. This can be tricky, so let's look at some helpful hints to know if you're supposed to have a long vowel or a short vowel. First, try the short vowel, but if that does not sound right, try the long vowel. If the word has the vowel I followed by two consonants, most times it will say long I. Like right here, we have a I with a macron and it says I. If the word has a vowel O followed by two consonants, most times it will say long O, like right here with the O and the macron to say long O. So now let's practice on this word right here. I see an I and it's followed by two consonants. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be a wild cult word, but let's check it first. If I try short I, it says w i o d, willed. And that doesn't really make sense. So now I'm going to try the long I. W I O D. And that's it. So I'm going to code it with a make run on the top of the I. So now let's look at this word. So I see an O with two consonants following it. So I know it's probably going to be a wild cult word. But let's try it to find out. If I try the short O sound, it says K A O T. Cult. And that doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to try the long O sound. K O O T. Cult. And that makes more sense. So I'm going to code it with a macron on top of the O. Now this word. I see an I followed by two consonants. So let's try this one just to make sure that it's a wild cult word and the I breaks the rule and says its name. K I N D. Kind. And that doesn't really make sense. So now let's try the long I. K I N D. Kind. And that's it. So now I'm going to put a maker on on top of my I. Now we are going to do our coding practice sheet. This is linked in your agenda slides. You can print it out or you can just do it on any paper that you have at home. You can code right now with me or you can code beforehand and then check your work. Remember, these wild cult words don't need a bossy E at the end. They just are either an O or I that's followed by two consonants and are breaking the rules. This first picture shows gold. I'll give you a minute to spell and code the word gold. So I hear a G at the beginning. Then I hear an O. And then L. And D. And that's a long O, so we would code it with a macron. Now I have the word mild, like the sauce. It's mild, not too hot. I hear an M at the beginning and then an I, then an L, and lastly a D. And that I is saying its name, so I'll code it with a macron on top. Now we have the word bolt. I hear a B, O, L, and T. 
and the O is long, so I'm going to code it with a Makethon. Now here is some more coding practice that is on your coding sheet. I already noticed that the CH digraph is at the beginning of this word, so I'm going to go ahead and underline it. Then I see that I is saying its name for the word child, so I'll put a maker on the top. The next word I see the ing ending, so I'm going to go ahead and box that suffix. Then I need to put a maker on my O for the word folding. The last word is blind, and I just put a maker on on the I. Now let's do three more together. So for the word scold, I'm going to put a maker on on the O. And if you remember from the beginning of the year, we can do K back C by putting a line on the C to make it look like a K. For the word most, I have a maker on on the O. And lastly, the word mind also has a maker on, but on the I. So this wild cult picture reminds me that an I or an O followed by two consonants often make the long vowel sound. They are rule breakers just like wild colts.